Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm a tutor at the Digital Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Canvas Studio to screen record and record your webcam, as well as how to upload a video from Canvas Studio to a discussion post page or to an assignment page on Canvas. So the first thing you want to do is log into Canvas, and when you get to your dashboard, you want to go to the left side of the screen to this little icon that says Studio. This will launch the Canvas Studio in your browser. I would personally recommend using Google Chrome. I found that that's the best browser to use for this purpose. Firefox, I tried, and it was very glitchy and difficult to use. So I think Google Chrome works the best. So this is the Canvas Studio. Here you can see the videos that you've uploaded. So here I have one that was just a test, and this is where they will all appear. So if you want to record a new video, you need to click on the record button in the upper right. And it will give you the option to either do a screen capture or a webcam capture. I would just do a screen capture since that gives you the option to do adjust your webcam or adjust your screen all in one interface. So I'm going to click on that. And it will ask you to launch the screen recorder launcher, which is a program that you have to download. Canvas requires you to download it to be able to use the Canvas Studio to screen record. So I'm going to open that. I already have it installed and it will launch onto your desktop. It does take a minute. There it goes. So here you can see the screen recorder interface. So I have my webcam in the upper right corner. So right now, if I were to recording, I would be recording both my screen and my webcam. You can change it to record just your screen. So now I'm, I would be recording only my screen or adjust your webcam. So now it's just my webcam. So if I switch it back to both, you could also move your webcam around the screen if you need to, if you're doing like a presentation and you need stuff on the slides and the webcam is blocking it, you do have the option to move it before you start recording. You also can change the size. So you can do a full screen. So you record your entire screen, which I personally would just keep it at that, or you could crop out anything you want by changing it to 720. So if you don't want the bars in the top, let's say, you can get rid of those. And you could also change the audio mechanism that you're using. So you could either use your computer's built-in microphone, like mine is selected right now, or you could use an external microphone, like headphones. So these would be my headphones or another audio device if you have one. When you do your narration, you want to make sure that your audio is working by looking at these green bars and make sure that your recording volume is high enough. So to start recording, you hit the record button in the bottom corner and it will give you a countdown. Keep in mind when you do record, you won't be able to see your webcam in the corner at all when you're on your presentation or whatever you need to be on. So if I were to go back to Chrome, you see I can't see myself anymore. So that is something you have to be aware of, of where to look and when to look. So now that I've recorded a little bit of footage, I'm going to pause it and hit done. So when you hit done, it will bring you to this interface. And here you could either preview your video and watch it. You could trim it on either side, either the beginning or the end. And you can name it and give it a description. So I'm going to name this Canvas Studio Tutorial. And if you need to give it a description, I'm just going to write description and actually spell it right. And then you hit the green upload button and it'll start uploading back to Canvas Studio. So now if I go back to Google Chrome, my video will appear in Canvas Studio. You may have to refresh the page before you see it, but it will be there. So from here, you could either watch your video back or you can download it if you need to or you could share it with any people that you need to. So now to upload a video to either a discussion post or to an assignment, 
you have to go to your courses, whatever courses that you need to do this for. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to go to the discussions pa page. And I'm just going to choose the student lounge. So when you reply to the discussion, this will appear like usual, but you want to use the more external tools function, which is right next to public resources and record slash upload media. So when you click on more external tools, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you get to studio. And when you click on studio, it will open this up, which is just a tinier version of the Canvas Studio, and you'll be able to see all of your videos and select any one to upload. So I'm going to select this one, and it will give you the option to allow comments or allow people to download the video. And you could also select another one if you need to. So I'm going to embed the video into the discussion post, and now it's there for anyone to watch that is on the discussion post. If you were to upload it and they could leave comments on the actual page if they need to or on the discussion itself. So you would post the reply and they'd be able to watch it. So now, if I want to upload it to an assignment, I'm going to use the same class. I'm going to upload to this video statement page. And I'm going to hit the submit assignment like usual. So now here on this interface, Studio is its own tab. So you just click on the Studio tab, and like before, it'll show you your videos that you have, and you could choose one to upload, and same, allow comments or allow to your professor to download it, and you can embed it into your assignment and submit it, and your professor should be able to watch the video back and with no problem. So that's how you screen record and record your webcam using Canvas Studio and how you upload to a discussion page and to an assignment page. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.